Hello everybody and welcome back to my show. Today I am super excited to have one of my favorite mover and choreographer come on this show today. He has choreographed various Bollywood songs from films like Three Idiots, Jabhi Met, Zindagi Na Milegi Dobara, etc. etc. The list basically goes on. And if you have not guessed already, I'm going to interview the famous Bosco Martis. So for all those dance lovers out there, make sure you watch the entire interview as he might provide some important information which might be beneficial to you so without further ado let's jump into this interview hello hello bosco sir it is such an honor to have you on my show right now i really Thank wish you. i would have talked to you in person but because of the circumstances we have to do this over zoom so tell me awesome. how have you been spending your time during this lockdown so it's been uh, quite a surreal experience for all of us i think especially for the ones who are in the creative field because uh, suddenly there's a uh, there's a long pause that has happened in their life and in my life too. so we were supposed to uh, start uh, my film uh, before the lockdown which was uh, our film we were supposed to start filming from the 18th of march and i think the lockdown happened on the 13th to the 14th and uh, Uh, I think on the fifteenth, I'm not mistaken. So one of these days, the lockdown happened. That's where uh, you know it, it didn't really hit us. Hit us, but as time progressed, I think it just uh, we started understanding the seriousness and the 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 impact of this. And uh, the way to move ahead was just to motivate your team, who's uh, you know was thinking, okay, we're going to start shooting. Okay, if not now. In a week from now, we will start. If not, in ten days, everything will get normal. But things just got worse. And yes, I think to keep them motivated is we just started uh, making uh, calls and we started spending time on creative, uh, you know, discussions. And that's how we started taking each day as it came, and then making a plan for tomorrow, and then executing that, then making a plan, and uh, trying to be a little more. Uh, Productive in terms of in at house, probably cooking or you know yeah. trying to um, catch up on the movies and catch up on uh, you know uh, the the calmness of life. You've just got to be a little more uh, settled in. Then uh, you know uh, that the big pause that you say this is this is that big pause that you need to kind of just. Uh, have a your perspective of on life so yeah it's really great to hear that you have been keeping yourself busy so yeah. i would like to ask you how many forms of dances do you know so technically if you ask me i don't know any form of dance but um, hip hop is my uh, world and my space so uh, we explore that kind of here because right now because of the the, the the internet and the education and and the kind of uh, um you know exposure that one has in different forms and there are so many forms that have been uh, you know uh, executed and there are so many forms that have been explored uh, we as in bollywood did not um, uh, you know cater to a certain form or cater to because that It really happened when the real reality shows kind of came into play. So people got educated to the number of forms, to the kind of styles. We were uh, trained to make songs look good. So that's that's where we came from, and uh, uh, we just made songs uh, look uh, what they need to for for the audience. So yes, if you if you, your question needs to be answered, then I think it's more hip hop and. Uh, that's that's the umbrella that uh, we kind of explored okay so that's great so i'm sure that you have been asked this question before but when did you decide to become a professional choreographer and like how was your journey so from a from a sportsman to a, a choreographer that was the journey uh things in sports back in the days i'm talking about 1992 was not so uh, you know uh, it wasn't uh, the opportunities and the lifestyle and the way sports was treated was a little bit tough because you were footballers you were athletes 
and uh, then uh, football and, uh, and athletics didn't have that kind of support system. But uh, uh, we 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 better now. But at that point of time, there was so much hard work and there was so much that we dedicated to sports. And then came dancing, and uh, I think that shift happened uh, very uh, organically because dancing had a lot to offer. Dancing had a lifestyle. Dancing had so much. Uh, you know, we could travel. We were traveling, playing, staying in the best of the hotels. So I think that transition really happened uh, in the new course. Okay, so that's great. So tell me, like. to become a professional dancer or a choreographer right now does one need to go to professional academies to learn how to dance i think right now people should be trained they should know their uh, basics they should know what they are because there's so much competition there is so much exposure uh if they are getting a, a training uh, you know school then they definitely should some people can be self trained too because there's so much exposure on internet yes and i think overall uh, people definitely should know the art before they venture out because right now things are different things are completely uh, it's more challenging it's more competitive so everything is, is just fast paced and uh, you need to you need to know what you yes. what you want to do to do i i agree so like especially indian parents have put a lot of pressure on their kids to choose mainstream professions such as become a doctor or a, or a lawyer and they don't look at dancing as a career but like how can we as children convince our parents to let us go into such fields and i believe when i'm asking this question i'm asking on behalf of all the children who want to get into such fields i think uh, you have so many reality shows that you must switch on and then tell them what what life is all about and there's so much that people explore there are so many kids who become stars they are they are household names uh, all over india maybe all over the world because of their talent and they could showcase uh, that so dancing itself has its own so back in the days i i always felt that dancing could be a profession because there's so much to explore it's, it's an art that could be you know um, could be not um, sold is a wrong way but it's an art that could be projected so well and uh, people over here uh, are uh, ready to consume it there's so much that uh, a dancer could offer and uh, i think times have changed and i'm sure your parents will have a different opinion about that yes so lastly for all my friends and colleagues from jbcn what message would you like to give them um so my message to all the, the the kids on the block is like yes dancing is great and and uh, it's great uh, to explore it's it has its own uh, you know every profession probably has its own uh, do's and don'ts and uh, you know advantages and disadvantages but i would like to say that educate yourself so that you know when you're when you're making those basic uh, uh added values or those basic decisions in life education definitely helps you in, in making them so you know that uh your your uh, with education you you become a human being and probably understand uh life a little more better than than somebody who just randomly comes and wants to um just start uh, doing what they feel like uh, so definitely education and uh yes. and don't let your dreams uh, stop you keep keep dreaming and keep uh, believing that they'll come true okay thank you so much and so yes. before i end this interview i believe you're directing your first movie and i okay. am like, extremely excited and can't wait to watch it so i wish you all the best and thank you, thank so, you so much for talking to me pleasure thank you take care of yourself and stay safe yes see you too okay. bye yeah bye Thank you for staying with me throughout this entire interview. I hope you gained enough information which would have been beneficial for you. Also, as Boss Kusa mentioned, it is very important to follow your dream, but also to educate yourself. Even though you not be choosing a mainstream career, you still need education as a backup plan. And discussing on the current issue, we all know these are the tough times, but it's soon going to end. Until then, all you have to do 
is stay safe, stay healthy and flatten the curve. Thank you.